The mystery of dark matter has fascinated scientists for decades because, despite its excessive presence, scientists have been unable to detect it. The presence of dark matter in the universe is so excessive that famous scientist Michio Kaku claims that the universe isn't made up of atoms, but of dark matter. You talk about different universes. Let's say that our universe is a sheet of paper. We live our entire life on this sheet of paper, but directly above us, there could be a parallel universe hovering right over us, perhaps inches, centimeters away, and objects in this parallel universe would be invisible. Light travels beneath the universe, so we never see this other galaxy. But gravity, gravity goes between universes, because gravity is nothing but the bending of space. So if the space between two sheets of paper is bent slightly, gravity then moves across. So think about it. This other galaxy in another universe would be invisible, yet it would have mass. That's exactly what dark matter is. Dark matter is massive, it has gravity, but it's invisible. It has no interactions with light or the electromagnetic force. So there is a theory that says that perhaps dark matter is nothing but matter, ordinary matter in another dimension hovering right above us. We should also point out, however, that there are other theories too. Dark matter is the cutting edge of science. Some people think that maybe it's a higher vibration of the string. All the atoms of our body represent the lowest octave of a tiny rubber band vibrating all over our body. And the rubber band could have a higher octave. That next octave could be dark matter. So that's yet another explanation for what dark matter might be. So the bottom line is this. There's a shelf full of Nobel Prizes waiting for you, waiting for anyone who can come up with a convincing and experimentally verified uh, explanation of the origin of dark matter. The recent findings from the James Webb Telescope provide new evidence confirming the existence of dark matter. The James Webb Telescope has discovered dark stars made up of annihilating dark matter. This significant breakthrough has left scientists scratching their heads because it appears that the nature of dark matter is more complex and intriguing than scientists believed. Remember, dark matter is this idea of matter that is out there, we believe, in space. And we come to that conclusion because when we take account of the gravity that can be exerted by the matter that's not dark, which means matter that we can see, gives off light, reflects light, matter of that sort, the amount of gravity that such matter can exert just is not enough to account for the motions that we see through astrophysical measurements, astrophysical data, right? I mean, the analogy that I'd like to use, I think it's a pretty good one. If you have a bicycle wheel that's wet as it spins, you know that the water droplets fly off as the wheel turns. Similarly, in galaxies that are spinning, if they're spinning at a sufficiently fast rate, stars should be flung outward. And we see galaxies for which the stars should be flung outwards, but they're not, which must mean there's something else out there that's holding those stars inside of those galaxies. The belief is that there's additional matter beyond the matter that we can see with our telescopes, and that dark matter is responsible for the gravitational pull that's keeping those stars from flying outwards like the water droplets. Good, that's dark matter. I should say, there's a lot of dark matter, we think, when you do these calculations. There's on the order of four or five times as much dark matter as there is ordinary matter, you know, the stuff that we're made of. Let's delve into the recent discovery made by the James Webb Telescope that has taken the scientific community by storm. The James Webb Space Telescope stands out as the most important scientific project. This venture cost around $10 billion, funded by the US, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. NASA's James Webb Telescope has exceeded expectations with impressive features, like a large mirror and unique segments. The instrument's remarkable capabilities have consistently unveiled previously unknown aspects of our universe. Particularly, its extended infrared sensors have precisely explored distant corners of space. Beyond capturing detailed deep space images, the telescope's adaptability is the most intriguing quality. Over two years, the James Webb Telescope has achieved numerous objectives, such as discovering hidden galaxies, studying distant stars and quasars, and observing planets within our solar system. 
the James Webb Telescope has gone even further by shedding light on the long-standing puzzle of dark matter. The scientific community didn't anticipate this. The success of the JWST was unexpected. The JWST's tendency to unveil unexpected phenomena has expanded scientific possibilities. The pursuit of understanding dark matter has prompted substantial investments in science, including the Large Hadron Collider. While visible matter forms everything in the universe, dark matter remains captivating. Experts have theorized the existence of an alternative matter known as dark matter. The exploration of dark matter's nature and origins stems from the belief that it constitutes a significant portion of the universe. But what precisely is dark matter, and how did it originate? Although dark matter accounts for about 27% of the universe, it remains unseen. This concealed substance notably influences space and the cosmos. The effects of dark matter have been observed both around us and in space. The study of dark matter has been quite captivating thus far. Unlike ordinary matter composed of atoms, dark matter behaves differently. According to cosmological models, atoms comprise just about 5% of the universe. Occasionally, people confuse dark matter with dark energy. Despite the similar names, dark matter and dark energy are indeed separate entities. Dark matter is a substance, while dark energy is a force. If you've heard about the concept of the universe expanding, dark energy is the driving force behind it. Visualize dark matter as the unseen material filling gaps in the universe, while dark energy is the invisible force stretching it. Roughly 68% of the universe is believed to consist of dark energy. Just like dark matter, we can't observe dark energy, yet its effects are evident in the universe. Dark matter isn't visible and doesn't emit, reflect, or absorb light. Even phenomena like X-rays or radio waves don't interact with dark matter. This is why scientists haven't directly detected dark matter. Most observations in the universe rely on tools that measure gravity and light. These instruments detect gravitational waves and capture light in telescopes. However, dark matter doesn't follow this pattern. Nonetheless, dark matter interacts with other elements in the universe, such as regular matter. This interaction informs us of its presence. When this interaction occurs, it produces specific gravitational effects. These effects are mainly noticeable in significant structures like galaxies and galaxy groups. Using these effects, scientists create maps displaying the distribution of dark matter in the universe. Hence, even though we can't see dark matter, its presence is understood. You might be curious how something invisible could play a crucial role in the universe. It's peculiar, but the concept of dark matter isn't novel in science. Researchers have studied and made discoveries about dark matter for many years. Theories about dark matter date back a long time, even to the days of Newton. At that period, scientists identified unusual clouds of dust known as dark nebulae. These clouds obstructed light from background stars. However, it wasn't until the 1930s that the first genuine observations of what we now call dark matter were made by an astronomer named Fritz Zwicky. In 1939, Fritz examined the coma cluster, revealing a much greater mass than previously thought. Yet, this extra mass remained entirely hidden. Fritz's findings faced skepticism initially, but subsequent astronomers validated them. Fritz was the first to bring the intriguing notion of dark matter to public attention. However, during that time, most of the scientific community was skeptical. Vera Rubin, an astronomer, eventually persuaded scientists of the reality of dark matter. Her research, which occurred 30 years after Fritz's work, marked a significant stride forward. Vera Rubin observed the galaxy's centers rotated at the same speed as their edges. According to physics, the center of a spinning object should move faster than its edges. Typically, the center of a rotating object moves faster than its edges, but this was not the case for galaxies. Vera expected galaxies to follow this pattern, but they didn't, prompting further investigation. She realized that galaxies were just components of larger structures, explaining the consistent speeds. This accounted for why galaxies maintained the same speed from center to edges. However, Vera didn't stop there. She proposed that the missing component in galaxies that Fritz identified was dark matter. 
Hence, Vera Rubin fully introduced the concept of dark matter. Naturally, not everyone initially accepted Vera's idea, but her findings were eventually confirmed. In honor of her significant contributions, a telescope in Chile was named after her, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory. Despite the efforts of Vera Rubin and other astronomers over the years, scientists still lacked a precise understanding of what constitutes dark matter and why it exists. This lack of comprehension has led to experiments such as the Large Hadron Collider or the LHC at CERN, aiming to produce dark matter under controlled conditions for study. However, these experiments have yet to yield clear outcomes. As a result, Scientists continue to rely on tools like the James Webb Space Telescope. While the telescope can't display dark matter as it does with stars and galaxies, it can reveal its effects in the universe and facilitate close-up study. This might appear to be a more indirect way, but it's actually the most effective approach that scientists have come up with so far, given our current technological capabilities. Astronomers use existing models to study how galaxies move, allowing them to measure the mass of stars and galaxies. This helps them estimate the amount of dark matter within them. Without dark matter, many galaxies wouldn't exist or move as they do. This stands as one of the main indicators scientists watch out for. The significant hidden mass contributed by dark matter is consistently detectable in scientific measurements. How does the James Webb Telescope fit into this equation? With this telescope, scientists can capture highly detailed images, providing a foundation for further research. This research helps identify observable distortions caused by the bending of light due to gravity, guiding scientists to locations where the hidden dark matter resides. Gravitational lensing, where light bends as it passes through a massive object, occurs due to the curvature of space-time, as explained by Einstein's theory of relativity. By capturing precise images of distant galaxies, the James Webb Telescope can determine their mass and identify unobservable components. These unobservable components are likely dark matter. It's worth noting that no other telescope or observatory can replace the James Webb Telescope for this crucial task. This is because only the James Webb Telescope has the capability to capture sharp images, allowing even minute changes to be quantified. Furthermore, the James Webb Telescope stands as the sole instrument currently available to explore deep into space. This capability greatly aids cosmologists in studying numerous background galaxies for traces of dark matter. One of the most significant findings from the James Webb Telescope has been the discovery of ancient clusters of galaxies in the previously thought dark regions of space. These galaxies were among the first to form, sparking extensive discussions within the scientific community. The formation of such large and distinct structures in the early universe puzzled many scientists. Once again, the James Webb Telescope has delivered a groundbreaking discovery that challenges existing knowledge. While we often describe dark matter as a substance interacting with other matter through gravity, it's essential to highlight its ability to self-destruct, generating specific energy signatures. A recent scientific paper delved into this unique trait of dark matter and uncovered a surprising revelation concerning the James Webb Telescope. This paper unveiled that certain distinct observations made by the James Webb Telescope aren't actually galaxies. Instead, they represent a distinct entity known as supermassive dark stars. These objects comprise a combination of dark matter and regular matter, exhibiting discernible effects on telescopes and observatories. These effects are discernible even from vast distances, enabling the James Webb Telescope to capture them. Despite the seemingly peculiar name, Dark Star, these objects are fully aligned with our current understanding of physics. As per modern physics, these stars consist of a central cluster of dark matter surrounded by a substantial amount of gas. The objects in question are suspected to account for many of the enigmatic structures previously assumed to be galaxies in the images captured by the James Webb Telescope. While these dark stars remain in the realm of hypotheses, confirming their existence could provide the missing link necessary to prove the presence of dark matter. 
The research paper provides a deeper understanding of these dark stars and their composition. Dark matter within these stars can annihilate, producing energy as a result. However, these dark stars also contain a considerable amount of gas found in typical stars. Nevertheless, due to the substantial dark matter concentration at their core, the behavior of the gases within these dark stars differs significantly. Dark matter exerts gravitational forces on surrounding matter, hindering the gases from achieving the density required for nuclear fusion. Consequently, the gases within these dark stars primarily form expansive gas clouds. While these clouds are sizable, they lack the intensity necessary to foster phenomena beyond nebulae. Dark matter stars emit light similarly to regular stars, but this light is unrelated to nuclear fusion or fission. Instead, light emitted by dark stars results from interactions involving dark matter. In proximity to their centers, dark stars generate substantial heat and emissions due to self-annihilation. This process releases substantial heat and pushes other gases, like hydrogen, away from the core of the star. This prevents the occurrence of phenomena such as aging, collapse, and supernovas that characterize other stars. Dark stars possess unique qualities that set them apart from regular stars, notably their larger size. However, they fall short of the dimensions of galaxies, being significantly smaller. The gas clouds emanating from these objects can vary in diameter from 4 to 2,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. This pales in comparison to galaxies, which measure at least 100,000 times the size of the Milky Way. To provide context, a light year is approximately 6 trillion miles. Consequently, one would need to align around 3 million of the most massive dark star gas clouds side by side to fill the volume of a small galaxy. When observed from observatories, these entities appear as concentrated sources of light from vast distances. They exhibit exceptionally high temperatures and luminosity due to the self-annihilation of dark matter, leading to the production of gamma rays and high-energy particles. This research connects various dots surrounding these dark stars, originating from an unusual galaxy the James Webb Telescope previously captured. This galaxy is believed to be the most distant ever observed, boasting a redshift of 13.2. One distinguishing feature of this galaxy was its exceptional overall brightness. Initially believed to contain a population of three stars, the discovery provided an opportunity to study these rare stellar objects. However, the aforementioned research paper unveiled the truth. These objects were, in fact, dark matter stars. The paper highlights a unique property of dark stars, the helium-2 spectrum, which distinguishes them from galaxies. This specific spectrum is absent in galaxies, making its presence in dark stars noteworthy. As a result, the galaxy under scrutiny no longer meets the criteria for classification as a galaxy. Additionally, luminosity plays a significant role. The luminosity of this dark star equals that of billions of suns. Collectively, these observations suggest that the galaxy in question, along with other faraway galaxies observed by the James Webb Telescope, could potentially be dark stars. The authors of the paper even proposed the possibility of uncovering additional dark stars through further observations and the utilization of alternative telescopes. Presently, the JWST is dedicated to monitoring the evolution of galaxies. Scientists can compare these observations with theories concerning the role of dark matter in shaping the universe. Moreover, remember that the JWST was crafted with a primary purpose of gazing back into the early universe. Through these deep space observations, scientists can use the JWST to explore how dark matter influenced the universe's infancy and subsequent development. The James Webb Telescope is equipped with adequate fuel and infrastructure to endure two decades in space. It remains stationed in a fixed location and boasts a substantial heat shield guarding sensitive components, including infrared instruments from heat and solar radiation. NASA exercised utmost caution prior to launch, recognizing the absence of any second chances. Any potential malfunctions would render accessing the James Webb Telescope for repairs nearly impossible. The prospect of refueling was also non-existent. However, the propellant on board gives scientists confidence that the JWST will function for the envisaged two decades. 
Even as dark matter stars revolutionize our understanding of dark matter, alternative avenues are being pursued by scientists using the James Webb Telescope to explore this enigmatic concept. Professor Matthew Walker from Carnegie Mellon University is spearheading a project utilizing JWST data to study dark matter through the lens of the cold dark matter theory. This theory posits that dark matter exists in small quantities within entities called halos. Matthew Walker and his team intend to apply this theory by examining how subgalactic dark matter halos impact various delicate gravitational systems. Notably, the scientific community is engaged in another monumental endeavor, the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope, slated for launch in 2027. This telescope boasts a wide field view, enabling it to capture images of extensive sky regions, surpassing the capabilities of the James Webb Telescope. Upon acquiring clear and detailed depictions of dark stars, modern cosmology could potentially confirm the existence of dark matter once and for all. With ongoing advancements and ambitious projects within the scientific community, the resolution of the dark matter mystery appears to be within reach. The Cosmic Microwave Background Stage 4 CMB-S4 experiment aims to map the cosmic microwave background radiation with unprecedented precision. While its primary objective is to study cosmic inflation, this project could also provide insights into dark matter's influence on the large-scale structure of the cosmos. Through careful analysis of CMB patterns, scientists hope to refine our understanding of dark matter's distribution and properties. Similarly, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, expected to begin operations in 2024, is poised to conduct the legacy survey of space and time. This extensive survey will capture data from the southern sky over a decade, enabling scientists to study the motions of billions of galaxies. By examining gravitational lensing effects caused by dark matter, researchers anticipate gaining deeper insights into its role in galaxy formation and the overall cosmic structure. The European Space Agency's Euclid mission, which has been recently launched, aims to map the universe's geometry while studying dark matter and dark energy. By employing visible and near-infrared imaging and spectroscopy, Euclid will examine the distribution of galaxies and galaxy clusters. The distortion of weak gravitational lensing will be analyzed to enhance our understanding of how dark matter interacts with ordinary matter. Euclid aims to find out more about two of the universe's greatest mysteries, dark energy and dark matter. Building on the study of dark energy, the operational Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, or DESI, launched in 2020, is also expected to provide insights into dark matter. DESI's detailed mapping of galaxy velocities and distributions contributes to our understanding of dark matter's clustering properties and its impact on the evolution of galaxies. The groundbreaking advanced LIGO and Virgo detectors, renowned for detecting gravitational waves, offer potential avenues for dark matter research. The possibility of detecting signatures of dark matter particle interactions through gravitational waves is being explored, potentially adding new dimensions to our understanding of this elusive substance. Hypothetical particles known as axions are the focus of various experiments, including the Axion Dark Matter Experiment, or ADMX, these experiments aim to directly detect axions, which could constitute dark matter. A successful detection would provide a direct link to dark matter and offer insights into its nature, potentially solving the mystery of its composition. Confirming the existence of dark matter would validate decades of theoretical work and observations that have pointed towards its presence. This would reshape our understanding of the universe's fundamental composition and structure. With this confirmation, scientists would gain critical insights into the nature of dark matter particles, their interactions, and their properties. This, in turn, would pave the way for the development of new theoretical models in a deeper understanding of the fundamental forces that govern the cosmos. From a cosmological perspective, the detection of dark matter would enhance our understanding of the universe's evolution and formation. Dark matter's gravitational influence has played a significant role in the large-scale structure of galaxies and galaxy clusters. By comprehending its properties, scientists could refine simulations that model the universe's growth over cosmic timescales, shedding light on the formation of structures such as galaxies, filaments, and voids. 
The discovery of dark matter could also lead to groundbreaking advancements in particle physics. As one of the most elusive particles, the nature of dark matter remains enigmatic. Detecting it would allow physicists to study its interactions with other particles and forces, potentially uncovering new physics beyond the standard model. This discovery might provide insight into the mysterious connections between dark matter and dark energy, offering a more complete understanding of the universe's composition. Furthermore, the implications of dark matter detection could extend to practical applications. While currently speculative, harnessing dark matter particles for energy generation or advanced technologies might become a possibility with a clearer understanding of their properties and behaviors. So this seems enough for today's video. What are your thoughts on the existence of dark matter? We would love to hear what you think. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others.